Classroom of Elite in a nutshell. This might be because season two and three have been announced and I'm not doing this for views. So we start I'm off in a regular in bus or train. I it, I think it's a bus. All I'm gonna <laughs> say is that everyone hates this guy. Everyone freaking hates this guy. What a kind young woman asking if the old woman can sit down. But guess what? This piece of sh isn't even letting her. Is that the female protagonist? We're finally at the entrance ceremony. Were you looking at me on the bus? No, bitch. I wasn't looking at you. All right, maybe, maybe just the. I am the student council president. All right, we get it, we get it. It's the student council president. Calm down. All right, so it looks like we're in class 1D. Why don't you fit one of these nuts down? Okay, looks like we got some normal classmates. Everyone's gonna introduce themselves. That's freaking great. We got wannabe leader, big fat eyes. She's definitely gonna be popular with the guys and girls. Oh, it's the main character's turn. We are introduced with the name Ayana Koji. This is Ayana Koji, everybody. Give a round of applause. These girls are not interested. This guy is not looking to do an introduction. Is that the teacher? Oh, great. And this is the whole rule of the school. So to give a rundown, everyone has a point allocated system. So one point equals one yen. And they start off with 100,000 yen. And apparently they get that every month, which is a lot of money. So Horikita is buying a lot of cheap things and... Bro, I'll be honest with you. She's pretty smart for that. After everyone spends all of their money this month, they're all flexing to their friends. Hey, yo, that was me. 80,000. We to receive it. So Ayana Koji is all by himself. And guess who's by herself as well? That's right. It's Horikita over here. Okay, so this bit wants to become friends with Horikita. And obviously, Ayana Koji's like, fine, I have nothing to lose. All right, class time. Everyone's sleeping through class on their phones, reading manga. It's... Pretty much a regular school. I'm Ayana Koji's asking Horikita to a date in the cafe. Okay, and she's... And she actually came? I'm not gonna lie. They actually do look like a couple. Never mind, never mind. Oh no, it's Fat Eyes here. Can someone tell me what's her actual name? I don't freaking remember. And I've seen this entire series like three times. Horikita, please be my friend. I don't have any friends. Shut up, bitch. I don't need you. I just need myself. I'm out of here. I think I made her mad. She's onto my man. Get out of here, bro. She's not for you. All right, back in class, and the teacher's just having her own moment. She was waiting for this moment her entire life. The points you're receiving this month is zero. Dun dun dun. Can we, uh, can we cut, please? Uh, it's getting a bit awkward. Catching you guys in 4K again. Man, you guys ain't slick. This opening goes so hard. So all of these guys are messing around in the pool. Horikita ain't having nothing of it. Bro, the class got zero points. They have no reason to mess around. Bro, even the teacher's impressed. What does that even mean? Oh, is that the student council president? Great, so this other blonde chick here. Kill tripping big guys over here for some money. Great friendship, great friendship. Alright, Horikita wants Ayana Koji to join her. This is very weird. Why is she buying so much expensive food? Okay, so pretty much Horikita wants a study session with everybody so they can get their grades up. And a lot of these guys aren't down. Well, at least Big Eyes is down, so that's good. Hey, yo, that's a hard grip you got there. Yeah, he's not having any of it. He wants to go. Alright, so my boy is going out to get a drink now. I think he's tired. Horikita's with the student council. This is weird. Oh, shh. Is he about to hit her? What the? My boy, my boy stopped it. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was so cool. Turns out next day, everyone passes their exam. And obviously, Ayana Koji has something to do with it. Hey, yo, scrap, scrap, scrap. Who is this? Why did you stop the fight? Come on. Even got Ayana Koji holding him back, bro. Suna can't even focus on basketball anymore. And Horikita is just trying to wait for him. Like, come on, man. You gotta study. What is this? Switching to Ayana Koji, we find out that one of the students have the answers for the next exam. And using the power of simping, gets the answers and that's that. Guess what? Guess what? Even after all that, Sudo still manages to fail. Like, come on, bro. Get all of the answers. You get a cheat sheet. You get a study before the exam. And you still manage to fail? Nah, Sudo's just like, bro, how did I fail? <laughs> and the teacher just hit him with math, bro. You can't even argue with math. Rules are rules. Yeah, bro, she's speaking facts. So the teacher just goes out to have a cigarette and my boy Ayana Koji's like, Teacher, I have a question. So Ayana Koji is trying to buy one of the points off of the teacher, give it to Sudo. Even Horikita arrives and they manage to strike a deal, which 
fair play to them, I mean. So the whole crew end up partying at Ayana Koji's apartment. Everyone's asking Ayana Koji how did they do it and <laughs> my boy says it was Horikita's idea and that didn't make someone happy. Oh look, it's Big Eyes. She's walking all by herself. Bro, I knew it. This thought is crazy. Just look at her eyes, bro. Look at the, look at the way she's staring at my boy. Oh, hell no, nah, man. Look at this blackmail. This is ridiculous. Just look. Acting like nothing happened. Oh my god, what I do to punch her in the face right now. <laughs> oh, so this is class 1B's teacher. <sighs> oh, it's just her. <laughs> Thank God she isn't. Bro, who is this guy? Oh my God. Oh, that must hurt. All right, so Ayana Koji is borrowing her student ID and damn, she's rich. Okay, so looks like this girl recorded the entire fight. Very useful information. Oh no, why are we out here with her? Please get me out of here. Great, our only piece of information that we ever needed is now destroyed. Good job, good job. Alright, so now she wants to fix the camera, but she has extreme, extreme anxiety. They end up fixing the camera and go through to the student council. And this will decide the fate of Sudo and the rest of class 1D. Aina Koji decides to do this. I Sorry, I'm just as confused as you are. All right, so after snapping Horikita back to her senses, she's finally ready to say her part in all of this. She has the SD card. Look at the president. He's so, he's like, display it. All right, so they're closing all the windows. Hold up. That's not the right image. Yeah, so they find out she exposes all of them. I'm not gonna lie, her name might be Sakura, but I kind of felt bad for her. Horikita's brother isn't having it. What's with this guy? He keeps trying to hit my guy for no reason. He has some serious issues. Okay, something is not right here. Bro, someone has been stalking her. Oh, that's the bullies from last episode. And looks like the main character is going to confront them. Bro, they got caught in 4K. Oh, look at all the cameras, bro. bro. Why does everyone keep grabbing her? Is this a new trend? Like, bro. And they yield. GG. Bro, someone is stalking her. Okay, bro, this is not looking too good bro is that the guy from the store no way let's go caught the man in 4k your life is over bro you're going to jail you're going to be dropping the soap it's over man what a wholesome ending bro how many times are we going to see this guy i don't care about you anymore he's inviting him to the student council yeah just as i thought ayana koji isn't interested all right so this is pretty much all a simping arc horikita and all the gang get invited to the beach and they all go out but the boys are acting pretty sus i'm not gonna Lie. They be speaking in Morse code sign language. What is this? Pretty much, this is all a down bad episode. I was gonna skip it, but I might as well just get it over with because some of you guys are gonna be like, "Oh my god, you just skipped the most epic arc in the whole world." Okay, to be quick, bro, I don't even know how to justify this. This is just not right. This guy's screaming his stomach hurts, bro. This, this is this is oh, bro, they need help. Oh my god, abort mission, abort mission. Yeah, so when you have a leg cramp, you're meant to run like this. Uh, it really helps uh, the blood circulation in your in your leg. It's, uh, yeah, the girls have no idea what the hell's going on. And turns out there were SD cards in the cameras. And, uh, yeah, this whole episode was fella. I can't, I just want to skip to the next one. All right, so the entire school and like, all of the classes are in a huge boat, bro. I'm pretty sure that yacht's from Bulma, like, no cap. This guy wants to tell Kushida how he feels. I don't think that's a good idea. Bro, if only he knew. If only he knew the true colors. Bro, even Sudo is simping, bro. This, I'm telling you, this episode was just filler once again. This guy is ripped, man, bro. Is that a Broly? Holy crap. All right, so all of the boys are in a restaurant and, and this random NPC is just calling Sudo a piece of garbage and Sudo ain't having that sh But we know from a few episodes back, Sudo really doesn't want to ruin his reputation right now, so he backs off. This guy just is walking shirtless around the whole place. I don't know why. Oh, it's the character everyone hates. This guy is like the biggest player. No respect. And oh, sh she's about to swing, bro. Oh, crap. Oh, my... Oh my god, she just got flung like a little stick, man. <laughs> a survival arc. Okay, so let me get the rules of the survival test down. So each team respectfully will be separated in teams and each team will have their own leader. And each of these leaders have a key card. And if any of the teams find out who the leader is on the other team, we'll be getting bonus points. So Ayana Koji sneaking around trying to find out information and we see this guy with a key card in his hand. Yeah, they almost got caught as well. It was very close. Fortunately for our class, our leader is Suzune. Pretty obvious it was going to be her or Ayana Koji. Not too surprised there. 
her. Yo, that's the girl who got beaten up last time. Damn, bro, she's bruised up. We got this guy exploring the island. He, bro, he, he's crazy. We are introduced to class B's camp, and it looks really, really good. Susan A and Ayana Koji end up trying to scout for class A's base, and uh, they had no particular strategy, so they just walked right in front of them. Susan A tries entering the base, but obviously isn't able to, and they get surrounded and threatened, so that wasn't too great. And bro, the other class is just partying it out. They literally used all of their S points for that one day. Yeah, they're just living their best lives. And yeah, Susan ain't having this shit, so she wants to leave. Going back to camp, apparently one of the boys uh, stole something uh, important, let's just say. And these guys get into a whole debate. End of the story. At the end of the entire argument, we obviously know that Ayana Koji is given the task to find out who this culprit was. Okay, so the girls really want to move out uh, to go away from the boys and they only trust Hirata. He's like the only good guy there, apparently. Susan manages to convince everyone else that Ayana Koji can be trusted as well, and they end up helping each other. Oh yeah, and uh, Horikita is sick, and since she's captain, it's ruining Class D's chances of winning the match. Ayana Koji wanted to get a look at Horikita's ID card because he wasn't too sure if it was the same as the others. Couldn't confirm it otherwise. Bro, there's no way he just did that. <laughs> Yo! Yo, this guy just got rocked, man. Yeah, she's losing her balance. It's not too great. And apparently the keycard was stolen. Great. We don't know how. And then this girl from earlier that got beaten up the one time ends up beefing with Horikita and they have this epic showdown. Okay, Susan A, getting some shots in. Damn! Never mind. Just got one tap. Oh, great. They got her card. Well played. Susan A wakes up and Ayana Koji's obviously there. She's uh, not looking too good. Yeah, so she was at 1 HP and obviously the teachers weren't having it, so she had to back down from the exam. Ayana Koji ends up telling Hirata and Hirata's out is stressing on how he would tell the others. Comes the next morning and they are ready to declare who are the winners. Class C's at zero points. Bro, this man is traumatized. Yeah, bet you weren't expecting that, huh? Class D is obviously very surprised by this and had no idea. Oh yeah, we lost 30 points because of this guy. Horikita really isn't having this, so she's asking Ayana Koji directly. Here comes the big game plan. Ayana Koji intentionally showed the card to Ibuki. He is the one who started the fire. Ayana Koji told told everyone that it was Susanae's idea and Susanae got all the credit. Bro, I still hate this girl, man. I still, I'm still having trust issues. I'm not trusting her. So teacher's like, haha, you've humored me, child. Yeah, so this teacher, I still don't know her intentions, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, great. Horikita Zasundere. Who would have guessed? This was one of the biggest plot twists I have ever seen in a long time. This was back in 2017 when it dropped. Aina Koji has never once thought of Susanae as an ally. That sh is deep and that was classroom of the elite i might have missed out a lot of key moments um but this was just an in a nutshell video you guys want to see the anime you guys should go watch it yourself give your own personal opinion on it but i love this anime man this anime was amazing bro season two is dropping and season three is announced for the future as well i can't wait to see what they have in stock next